Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger is in Taiwan to attend the 2023 Intel Innovation Taipei. It's its fifth trip to Taiwan since becoming CEO and its second visit this year. At the event, Intel unveiled its latest hardware designed for advanced AI capabilities. The crowd was a who's who of Taiwan tech, tech players, including Acer and Asus. On his way to the stage, Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger embraces Wei Yin Chair Emily Hong and has a quick chat with Wei Yin CEO Zhang Shun Lai. Also present are Asus Chair Johnny Shi and Acer Chair Jason Chen. It's the 2023 Intel Innovation Taipei Tech Forum. Right, and this is a composition of Intel Silicon over a UCIE interface, right, and an advanced package combining a TSMC N3E test chip as well over an EMIB interconnection as well. Intel worked with TSMC to produce a UCIE interface, which offers a more compact and power-efficient connection between processors and graphics cards. Gelsinger has clearly prioritized the Taiwan supply chain, having visited Taiwan five times since becoming Intel CEO. This year alone, he's visited twice. In the past, Intel had only held smaller innovation events in Taiwan, but this year its innovation day is quite large. The computer giant has 31 partners, 28 of which are Taiwanese. Its fastest CPU yet is expected to hit the market next year. At the event, the company showcased its high-end processors designed for demanding tasks such as artificial intelligence. The technology can render 2D images in 3D and features vast improvements in heat dissipation, from the previous 500 watts to 1,500 watts. Gelsinger says Intel's 20A and 18A chips, comparable to TSMC's 2 and 1.8 nanometer chips, may be unveiled as early as next year. 18A number five of the five nodes in four years. And this to me is, you know, sort of the finish of this incredible march that we set ourselves on, you know, this uh, path to delivering, you know, the next generation in scale. Intel showed off its latest technologies at the event, which was held in the homeland of TSMC and other chip giants. With a semiconductor war raging, tech firms around the world are coming together to push the sector's limits.